guys. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, September 21st today, and I wanted to start the video out with saying a huge thank you to Carol. Uh, she sent a package for the family. Um, she sent this cute card with a note inside. So happy you enjoyed the videos, Carol. Um, look at the look at that. Isn't that just adorable? All those happy donkey faces. <laughs> it's, it's so cute. Uh, she sent some goodies for the family, the whole family. She sent some trail mix uh, for the family and I to enjoy. Thank you so much. And then she sent these doggy bones, doggy delirious. Um, they're peanut butter, banana licious flavor. And they're only 6% fat, so that's that's nice. I've never seen these before. Um, and it's a big box. It says it has... 170 bones in that. That's the size I need with seven dogs. So thank you so much, Carol. All right. Um, I'm going to go sit down and give you guys a quick update on Mozzie and Magnum and how they're doing. Okay, let's sit down and give an update on Magnum and Mozzie. As you can see, Mozzie has a cone up too. A different cone. Um, they can smell. I got the treats in my my pocket here for them to try out that Carol sent. <laughs> you can't eat them through my shirt. Okay, let's give these boys a cookie. I don't know where Grant went. He was just out here. Okay, sit. Here's what they look at like, by the way. Oh, here I hear Grant coming. Here, Miggy. You've been waiting patiently. No, little shark Milo. Okay, here's Grant's. I can't give Grant... Oh, excuse my hand in front of the camera. Oh, it fell. Grant, 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 no, no, don't eat his. Right here, there you go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me give Merlin a cookie. Let me get one out of my little drawer here. Um, As you can see, I have different type of cone on Magnum. Uh, since having those two masses removed, he broke two of the plastic. Oh my goodness, I'm get this cookie. Here we go, Merlin. There you go. I'll have to find, I think Kitten's upstairs. I'll have to find him and give him one when I'm done recording. Um, yes, he broke two of the plastic e collars. Um, so, um, went to PetSmart and got this inflatable, like, donut ring. <laughs> And it works so great with Magnum that I got one for Mozzie uh, because the Cytopoint allergy shots have not stuck, stopped him from licking around his pee pee area. So, Mozzie got one last night too. The recovery suit I bought that I shared with you guys some videos back, it works great. But every time I have to let Mozzie out, I have to pull it up from around the butt area and attach it so he can go potty. This way, since I liked how well it worked for Magnum and how he doesn't mind it at all, I don't have to do anything. I can just let him in and out. I don't have to keep messing with the suit, adjusting it every time he goes in and out. And if you guys know, my boys are in and out all day long. Um, so this just works better. He can still eat, drink, go potty, and I don't have to mess with anything. So, um... It's doing great for Magnum as well uh, from getting that one incision on his kind of chest by his right arm area. So Magnum's doing great. He just has to wear this little donut ring until uh, Monday next week and he'll get his stitches out and then he'll be good to go. He won't have to wear it anymore. Mozzie had an appointment Monday um, to have his liver enzymes rechecked. What are you giving me? What are you giving me? <laughs> um, he's back here. He's looking for squirrels. Um, had them rechecked and last time he had them checked, they were up to 15, 1,537. Very high. I think normal's around 180. Um, I can't remember exactly the normal high, um, but his were at 1,537. So we went Monday, got them rechecked, and they were down to 927. 
So I mentioned that we had started him on a new medication and this is it here. It's an uh, antibiotic. You guys leave that kitty alone. Max likes to chase the kitty. Um, this is it right here. Um, we were talking about, Dr. Pierce and I were texting, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. We were texting back and forth, and she was saying something about me, um, trying his mycophenolate, which he takes once a day right now. I think it's 90 milligrams. Not sure offhand, um, which is for his liver because he has cholangeal hepatitis. Um, we were thinking about upping that to twice a day. I don't know if she was going to change the milligrams or not. Um, <laughs> Nikki's like, Mom, we're, you're supposed to be talking to our friends and kicking the ball for me outside. You're not supposed to be doing this inside where I can't play. <laughs> um, so then I started texting her about, I said, could it be something, um, no, no, Mar, Mar, um, could it be something related to why he's licking his pee pee area all the time? I said, the cytopoint is not working, the allergy shots. Um, he's had his urine tests and you guys haven't said he had, hasn't, hasn't had any infections or anything. I said, could he have some sort of infection that we're missing, um, from the normal urine test he's getting? Could he have something going on? So she said, you know what? Let's try him on this antibiotic. Uh, she prescribed him 10 days worth and she said, um, bring him in seven days into the medication, taking the antibiotic and let's check, recheck his liver enzymes. And they came down a lot. So that was almost, what, 600 points they came down? She couldn't believe it either. So she said, let's prescribe him two more weeks worth on top of the couple days he had left. Um, let's prescribe him two more weeks worth and recheck him in two to three weeks. So we go back just a little over two weeks um, and we will have his liver enzy enzymes checked again. So, um, <coughs> hopefully they keep coming down and hopefully when he's done with these antibiotics, they stay down. We will see what happens. So it's just kind of a testing or not testing, but just going through the most motions of going through things to see what will work. And I'm so happy I mentioned to her cause I was on board with doubling the mycophenolate and I'm so happy I mentioned to her about him still licking, uh, his pee pee area and around his belly, um, and that the cytopoint shots weren't working and that could we have possibly missed an infection going on? So I'm so happy I mentioned that. So always um, mention, mention every little concern you may have with what's going on with your dog because you live with your dogs. You see what's going on with them. And um, yes, I'm so happy I mentioned it because I thought, oh, I'm not going to say anything. And I'm so happy I did. So always voice all your concerns when it comes to your children, yourself, and your dogs. So um, hopefully, fingers crossed, this will help him in his liver enzymes. So, and I'm also, while he's on these medications, I'm trying to keep him from licking that area because maybe his constant licking isn't helping it. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly <laughs> what's going on with that. But um, yeah, so we're just going to keep him away from that area too while he's on the medication. And I'm going to tell you about these little donut rings. I bought one for Grant when Grant had his um, toe removed because he had cancer in the toe. But with these, with that donut ring, um, he could still get to his feet. So if you have a problem to where you're trying to keep your dog away from your feet, their feet, these will not work. I have seen some that are wider though on Amazon. Those would probably have worked better for Grant. But these ones here at PetSmart are not... Uh, wide enough to keep them from their feet. So just be aware of that. But I'm really impressed with how well they've been working and how much more comfortable Magnum is <laughs> without the plastic cone. Let me tell you, I couldn't believe it when he broke the second one. I had to duct tape it. I posted a picture on Facebook. Had to duct tape it while I went and grabbed this one from PetSmart. Also brought, bought another plastic one just in case. Um, someone mentioned on my post on Facebook the, um, they thought maybe that these donut rings would 
were affecting his neck. Like the way it was, the picture was just the way he was standing. They are very comfortable and no, it's not going to stretch, stretch their, uh, neck ligaments or anything, neck muscles at all. It's perfectly fine. It was just the way Magnum was standing. Cause he just wasn't sure about it. Uh, when I first put it on him, he's totally comfortable. He can actually relax better. He can get up it down from the furniture better. He was constantly banging it on like doorways, especially going in and out of the house. And that's how it cracked. So, um, so much better for the dogs. Let me tell you. And Mozzie doesn't mind it at all. No. As soon as I put it on him, he kind of shook a little, looked at me like what in the world? And he was totally fine. He's totally comfortable with it on yeah, as well as Magnum. Took Magnum about an hour or so. Um, and then he was totally fine with it. So, all right, guys, just wanted to give the little update on Mozzie and Magnum and how they're doing. And I, again, want to thank Carol for the package. I also want to say thank you to, uh, they wanted to keep it anonymous, to the person who sent a donation on our PayPal to help towards Magnum's uh, dental and surgery he had. So I appreciate it so much to that anonymous donor. Um, all right, guys, I hope everyone's having a great week and we will talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.